What is going on, Sagittarius? Welcome back to Jewelry Box Tarot with your girl, Empress Gem. I'm here to drop these jewels. Yes, guys, I am back. And I am coming back with your spirit says message. No, I'm not 100%, but I had to come through for y'all, okay? For everybody, for the collective, drop these messages, feel me? While I was down, I got a lot of downloads and had a lot of dream. Like, my dreams were, like, off the chain. I must say I needed that rest. Y'all getting, like, a lot more about what was going on with me than everybody else. Why? I have no idea. But, um, well, yeah, because y'all think it's called Can't Have It All, which was, like, me trying to work and, like, be this... I mean, I am a one-woman show. I do a lot. I wear a lot of hats. But, um, it was like I knew I needed to take some time out. I felt the burnout coming. And I just refused to, like, give in. And spirit sat my ass down and let me say it was <clears throat> some of the best sleep ever. Anyway, enough about me. General message, Sash, take what's for you, leave the rest behind, right, right. Personals are open. You can book on a website. It's in the description box below. But we already know what this is about. You can't have it all, okay? But... I was getting like somebody, um, uh, all right, Sash, it's your energy. Let's talk, right? Next 10 days or so. You got these options. You have a lot of things to weigh here, but it's like, I don't know if it, this could be your energy. This could be somebody around you. Energy is energy, right? We know this. If it resonates, it don't. If it do, it don't. Whatever. Y'all know. Somebody can't make up their mind. Somebody is trying to find the words. That's why, like, my words is all mumble-jumbled and stuff, which I'm like, it's just, like, ba babbling or whatever, like, banter, okay? Um, somebody's, like, trying to beat around a bush or, like, not trying to make up their mind, but they need to. Um, somebody also could be losing their mind, okay? Low-key and not saying anything. Somebody's going through a really hard time, okay, mentally. But I also picked up somebody wanting to play in the light and the dark, and it's like... How they're trying to go about it is not of temperance, it's not balance, it's not you, Sag, okay? I feel like the divine is trying to give you the message, like, because it's like they're, they're giving me the message. I see the message clear as day, but it still has some sort of distortion because how I'm seeing it is how you're seeing it. So it's like you're not getting the message clear. I don't know if you're refusing to or if somebody's playing in your energy. Hence why I see I got the magic stick. For some of y'all, somebody got that that wood, okay? <laughs> they got that wood and they sling it good. Ow! <laughs> or they got that, that strap and they making it whap, whap, whap. Whatever, but we ain't gonna go there. Neither here nor there. <laughs> but I also seen this magic stick as a wand. So somebody could literally be um, playing or manipulating, you know, using a lot of spell work as in wordery to like you know mess with your mental throw you off and I, i'm i heard keep you in the dark side like somebody wants to keep you on the dark side okay um and that's probably why that schizophrenia card is there because it's like there's this internal battle or there's battle going on because it's like you know you hear, you intuitively, you know, like you're getting some sort of message or some sort of download, but I don't know if you're not getting it clear because somebody could be like trying to like, is, they're messing with the signal. It's always like, it's like a drop call. They're messing with the signal. I see static, like on an old school TV. Um, yeah, I'm dating myself, but you know, when you got to click, 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 like back in the day, you had to turn the knob, turn on your TV. And, you know, say you had to put it on channel three to watch the cable or whatever. So if it was on like channel seven, you got that black static. That's what it looked like. OK, for those who can who know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's like the connection isn't there and it could be the energies around you that is like doing this. Or this literally could just be you being blind out and you need to chill out, Sag, and go with the flow. You could be trying to stop something. And right now it's like it's out of your control. You could literally be trying to stop something or change something or make something happen that I've, it's like the universe is trying to get you away from something or push you away from something. And you want to take it with you or you want to hold on to it, but you can't. You got to let it go. Okay. This magic stick, you could feel that 
you know, you're able to take this with you and still manage and do, but it's like, nah, you need to step out on faith, go with what's new here, okay? Luck is on your side, Sag, okay? Believe in yourself. What's at the top? I'm interested. Leave me, okay? So, yeah, somebody out here do got that wood and somebody don't want them to leave them. They, they, they need it. They want it, okay? This person could be manipulating to keep you in their energy because they the sex is good. Somebody's attached to you for sexual reasons, okay? Or some sort of sex magic could be taking place here. Um, yeah. So let's get into it, Divine Holy Spirit. What do we have here? For Sagittarius for the next 10 days, for the highest good, please and thank you. Uh-uh, y'all about to try to give me a big stack. No, let's start small. <laughs> I mean, the message is a message, right, Sag? So let's see, what do we have for Sagittarius? As I said that, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. All right. Well, yeah, what I said. Sacral chakra, sex, passion here. Okay. Your creativity. The color orange of significance here. But the second chakra. Like I said, it's about sex. Somebody could be doing sex magic. Somebody's addicted to you sexually. Okay. Could be dealing with sexual addictions. But I feel like in the next 10 days... You're reaching a period where it's like seeing the low vibrational energy for what it is and making a better decision for yourself here. You're realizing what is of benefit to you in the next 10 days, okay? So we'll take this first. These were face down. So it says, where the party at, okay? Somebody feels torture, like they need you so bad, Saj, you or the person. Okay, I got time today. Somebody's willing to do anything to be in your energy, to be around, to do what you do. Like, even if it hurts them, even if they're hurting you, even if they have to hurt other people, they do not care. This person will do anything, okay? Yes, orange is the new black, all right? Guilty. This person is willing to go to jail. Oh, Sag, what you do to this person? They're willing to go to jail over you. Like, they're, they'll guess. Guess. Because I'm really questioning, like, spirit, Pharrell. <clears throat> I done did all these readings, and I'm closing up on y'all. So, somebody really don't want me to say this. But somebody is obsessed with, obsessed with you. Okay? Like, they're obsessed with your life here, Sagittarius, and they're willing to do any and everything to hold on to you, to keep you in their presence, to be in your energy. They are willing to torture themselves and other people, whoever tries to get close to you. This person spends their all their waking moments, held even in their sleep, plotting and planning on how to keep you or to be where you at, to always be around, to always be in your energy. Like too much, it's a lot of obsession here. It's a lot. Like, this person is wanting to do crimes, like, stalk you, tap your shit, track your shit, like, asking friends of a friend of a friend of a friend of the family of a friend. <clears throat> yep, somebody is doing all of that. OD work right now. Somebody is putting in OD work right now to keep you... And I'm going like this, to keep you gripped, to keep you tied, to keep you strong, to keep you on the palm of their hand. Like somebody is wants to wants control over you. They want to own you and have you. Not your circus, not your monkey though, okay? Not at all, Sag, all right? Somebody is big fucking mad at this time because they have to pay the piper, okay? You're getting your life together, all right? You could be... Um, Healing or looking back into things of your childhood, okay? Yeah, these secrets here. You're doing a lot of healing. You've done a lot of healing, okay? You see where, you know, certain cycles keep replaying in your life, okay? Um, <clears throat> the way you communicate or people communicate to you, what you're taking in, what you're dealing with, what you're missing out on, what you really wanted. You're thinking back to what you've always dreamed of having or doing for yourself. A lot of you guys are making these moves and these plans and you're not saying anything to anyone. Okay, yeah, Amazon got it. VIP. Bitch, I'm a job. Okay? You're really investing in yourself right now and you're not really trying to get caught up in the drama and the bullshit, but you literally do have somebody who's in the background 
who's mad about this. And they've been trying to do everything that they can to keep you in a stagnant energy where you're not elevating and growing and being better for yourself. Okay. You have, yeah, this is a soulmate. And I feel like this is really a karmic type of soulmate here who's holding you ransom. Yep. As I say that karma is a big bitch. Okay. This is a soulmate tie, a soul tie, somebody that you had to come and deal with for lessons, you know, to receive some sort of blessing or whatever. I feel like you've learned the lesson and you're moving on, but this person is really still, you really got a hold on me. That's what I'm hearing. You really got a hold on me. And I'm saying, I don't know what letter that was on Sesame Street, but he was holding on tight and he would not let, who was it, Richard Pryor? He would not let him go. Okay. So very comical. Okay. Cause I feel like this is, this energy would do that and in person because i'm seeing this like if you was like nah i'm gone like they'll like cling to your leg or like hold on to you like no you're not leaving me you're not going anywhere you're mine we're gonna be together we're gonna do this pipe down ain't that what drake said <laughs> you need to pipe down okay but um yeah it's not for you okay this person like i said has done everything under the sun they're willing to do anything they've done the weirdest of the weirdest shit at the car wash, okay? Because that's what go down at the car wash. If you ever seen the wash, they did everything at the fucking wash. Everything was going down. People was getting kidnapped in that movie, remember? All that shit. So, all because he... And then he was, like, trying to better himself. People was hating because he was getting promoted. He was trying to better himself. Like, when you think of the concept of that movie, that's your life right now, okay? Like, literally, okay? You are a light. I call you some because you shine like one. You good, Saj, Okay? You shining, and that's what they see. They see how you're doing good. They see how well you are. We do got a lot of fire out here. Okay, we got some air out here. So, Aries Leo Sag, you're here, as well as Gemini Libra Aquarius is out here. We got in some green, so Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Yeah, need to roll something. You need to just smoke one, my boy, my girl, okay? And just stay grounded, ground yourself out here during this time. Because you're shining. You're doing a damn thing. I feel like the universe is definitely rejecting what is no longer serving for you here. Mm -hmm. I f it's, it's here. Okay. It, they're, they're removing what is no longer serving you here. They're trying to put you in a better place, present you with better options here. But again, this could be because of this other energy playing in your energy field that is making it hard for you to like make better decisions and that's why you could be you could be the one that's having a schizophrenic feeling where you're trying to figure out what's right and wrong you're getting these messages but you're trying to decipher through them a lot of it's not making sense because you literally like you could have an attachment you you need a cleanse you need a cleanse yeah like you need a cleanse yeah you need a cleanse Okay, yeah, you're elevating, and that's why they're mad, okay? And this could be somebody who's transgender, okay? Different from a transsexual, <laughs> we're going to have that one-on-one. So this is like a girl who still has all her feminine, her female parts, but she likes to dress like a boy. Or this is a boy who still has his stick and balls, but he likes to dress as a girl, okay? Cross-dresser type of energy, but they're in this energy all the time this could be a transgender type of energy here that is like this okay or somebody again is also mad that you know you're not switching sides you're not falling for it like the boo boo the fool act yeah you remind me of something as a, the deck slid you remind me of something somebody is like so like they're obsessed with their energy crazy as fuck spirit what we got here for sagittarius to close out this spread please and thank you okay they said, no, 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 start it over. That shit went far, boy. I don't usually read these in reverse, but it literally did all this nice little flipping on the floor into reverse upright for me to see it in reverse. But it's be bold and make the first move. So don't fuck with this energy. Like you, I feel like you know, like it, it gives you, because I like, yeah, y'all see, and I'm, I'm doing this because it's like, it's bad vibes. Like, I feel the bad vibes of whoever this person that's willing to fuck up their life to fuck. And essentially, I don't, this person doesn't even feel like they're fucking up your life because they feel like y'all supposed to be doing this. Okay. 
you're theirs. It really doesn't fucking matter, okay? Like, this is where this person is at. <laughs> this energy. But it's like, don't fuck with it. Because I feel you, you, you get the feeling like you feel it. You feel it. Like, my stomach started to hurt. Like, I started getting, like, these little tingles and goosebumps and stuff. Like, you feel it. Like, you know when it's energy. Like, you know bad energy. You know it. Don't don't fuck with it. Leave it alone. Don't be bold. Just because it's easy or it's being thrown at you don't mean you got to go for it. It's a reason behind that. It's a test. Don't fail. Don't sleep with this person either. Because they got some shit on them and they trying to put that shit on you. Like, not in a good way. Not in a good way. Yeah, a win-win outcast. A win -win outcast, and I said it again. A win-win outcome is in the forecast for you. Libra energy here. That carnal energy is Aries, Cancer, Capricorn, and Libra again. So heavy Libra. But with this in reverse and grant... Yeah, a win-win outcome is in the forecast. You can win. This person's going to catch their karma. And you can win. I feel like... But that... Why, spirit? They can't give in. Like, they don't make the move. They don't fuck with it. They have to follow their intuition. That's how everything stays balanced. That's how this this carnal energy is upright, Libra. That's why it's in reverse. That's not a balanced situation. You're not going to win in this situation, Sagittarius. Even if you do give in, because say you're not paying attention, because like I said, somebody is using some sort of magic energy to fuck with you. Okay, even if you don't like for some strange reason, you fuck with this energy because you can't pick up that vibration like that or you still have that static. You're going to see this person catch hella fucking karma or something's going to go down like they're going to be sucked out, like removed out of your life some way, somehow. You got karma and time to pay the piper out here and orange is the new black. Like this person could literally go to jail for doing some wild ass shit. It's not for you. Like, there's so much rejection cards here. Not your circus, not your monkey. All right, Satch? Like, that's just what it is. But one more outcast. Okay, one more outcast. Outcome in a forecast, okay? Why well, I keep saying that, Spirit, real quick before I get off of them? Because this person tries so hard to seem like they're different or that they're something that they're not. Thank you. So, there you go, Saj. That has been your message. I really hope that it's helped. Until the next time we speak, peace out.